info, guys, and Merry Christmas to you all and Happy Holidays. Uh, we have just released webhooks integration and I want to show you today how to use it. In this example, I'll be showing you how to send, uh, I don't know, new subscribers to your MailChimp and unsubscribers to a simple Google Sheet file. Uh, of course, you can do that uh, not just with Google Sheet and MailChimp. I mean, uh, you can also send the data to any other integration we have CRM, but this is just the simplest way for me to explain it and the fastest way, which I think is important. Uh, later on, you may ask our support for any other use cases, but in general, this is how you do it from the Synspider side. So starting on by creating a new task, and choosing Webcooks module as a source. Here it is. I'll be naming it as MailChimp. Chimp. Moving next. And here we are asking you for a URL. Uh, in MailChimp, this is just this URL. Moving next. And basically this is done. The first step is done. Uh, moving to the target destination. These are going to be Google Sheets. Now, this step is interesting. On this first screen, we are showing you configuration webhook URL. You need to copy it. Uh, this is the first step. Uh, and it's important because on this way, we are uh, uh, configuring the, uh, the attributes we want to send to SceneSpider. How do we do that? Uh, so let, let me move to my MailChimp and go to what webhooks there and create a new webhook. I'll just paste this configuration URL here, select what I want to send. This is new subscribers and unsubscribers and click save. The first part is done. Now I move to Synspider and let me see what can I get from MailChimp. Okay, I see nothing. I just see root. And this is not good because like this, uh, you cannot map properly in uh, Synspider. As you know, Synspider give you, gives you visual mappings. And to do that, we need to have on the left side our source mappings. So, uh, for this to work properly, we, we first need to send some data so that SceneSpider could know and prepare the mapping field, fields for you. So I'm just going to return my MailChimp or whatever uh, other integration you might be using, in this case, MailChimp, and go to my audience because this is where, I'm, where we are monitoring the changes and view my contacts there. So here, uh, I'm just going to click on one of my contacts and unsubscribe him, confirm. And this change is done now. So let me just go back here and refresh it. Now I have uh, different, different view here and I can select what I want to use as source and what, uh, what out of all of these attributes, I want a scene spider to have in my mapping. So I'll be using everything beneath data, and I would advise you to do so as well. Uh, then when you click on it, we have we give you a proper webhook URL. You need to copy it again, and then return to your mail mailchimp again account. Go to settings and return to your webhooks. Edit this webhooks and change the URL you previously put. So this is the old uh, configuration URL. You'll just be set, now changing it to the proper one. Uh, did I did it correctly as I did and click update. And that's it, we are finished here. Now moving on next. Uh, let's configure the target, just not as relevant. 
Of course, since we are using Google Sheets, we need to prepare the new document we are creating. This is going to be, I don't know, email, uh, then uh, first name, last name. Okay, moving next. Now here, we have all this data we wanted. We have email, first name, and last name. Of course, you can use any of other data you want. This is just a showcase. And moving next. Then we select that we want to do it on event. On submit, I'm going to turn on this task immediately and click finish. Now, just let me rename it. That's it. Task is running and let's see, as, is it working properly? To do that, I need to make some changes to my list in MailChimp. Uh, for example, I can resubscribe this fella, confirm, and this action, action should have been already noticed by SynSpider. Let us see, has it been done? Not yet. Here it is, it was done. Let's see the file. And that's it, as we wanted it. So uh, this is it, simple as it. Uh, let me know what other use cases you would like me to show so I can create a video uh, for your specific use case. Thank you for watching and see you soon.